we are back. Yes, we are Round back. Round two. Uh, yeah. And we lost the die roll, which is not the end of the world. And they're trying to figure out... Sorry, I've got someone trying to buy some cards here. Alrighty. They're still trying to decide. I guess. Maybe they didn't expect it to come back quite so soon. Maybe they're still not at their computer. Or maybe we've, uh, we're encountering ye old double Q. Maybe. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we have to mull this. I hate mulling. One land. Three land. This is fine. Keeping our six. <coughs> Alright. So, he leads with a swamp. Strong play. Mmm, swamp. Swamp which has bones in it. Fine, not playing that on. <coughs> me too. Excuse me, the buckle doesn't seem to be doing its job. <coughs> Dear me. Sorry to hear that. Mm-hmm. Not the most fun ever. Uh, too many things to do at once. <clears throat> Alright. Oh dear. Okay. Do we play this out on curve? I think we do. I'm okay with just playing it. Like, well, yeah. <coughs> I'm okay with just playing it to get a creature down. Sure. I'm never going to have the mana I want to spend on morphing and then unmorphing it. Yeah. So, enough. I mean, maybe a 2-2 two, two for 3 is better, but... But I'd rather draw off our wind scout. Yeah. Hello. can bell strike anything he drops, so I think we swing for one, drop the wind scout, and uh, drop a land. Or drop a land, drop the wind scout. Sounds like a good play. Apparently, when you have a uh, message in the trading queue, you get swamped with people who don't know how to say hello and instead just try to open a trade request. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to remove that post for now. Okay. Oh! Did you just pass bef without dropping a creature? I did. Without dropping land, without dropping a creature. Because I was distracted. Well, that makes this game significantly worse. Mm -hmm. And we're still waiting. 
I feel foolish. But that's a reason not to be distracted while you're playing. Citadel Siege. Um, interesting. I wonder what he's going to pick. He should pick Cons, but... Uh, <coughs> Ouch. Chooses Dragons. Okay. Interesting. And what does it do? At the beginning of combat on our turn, on, yeah, our turn, tap target creature that player controls. So, tap target creature we control. Well, that's frustrating. Yeah, and it's relevant too, because we could still get in for one here if I had uh, dropped a creature rather than getting in for nothing. So he's always going to be able to tap down our biggest creature. Yeah. That's just gross. Considering I'm staring at an empty board right now, uh, it's not too bad. Although if he really starts to roll out the creatures, we may be in some trouble. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we've got um, a land to drop, we've got Singing Bell Strike. That's also going to s slow him down, so I'm going to always yield to it. Sure. And because uh, there's going to be nothing I can do about it. Right. I don't have any protect effects in this deck, so. No. I'm going to F6 through his turn, too, because if he's running a dirtle machine, then uh, saving clock might be relevant for us. Yeah. We ha we're tapped out anyway, so. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Nothing to bell strike. It's unfortunate that I um, passed without even dropping that land because we could have Rakshasa Vizier here or Ethereal Ambush. So we've got nothing to do here? We've got nothing to do here. Except swing for one. Yep. <clears throat> but hey, at least it's one. I suppose so. He's on a 19 turn clock. Ooh, we have to hope he does nothing else for the next 19 turns. Well, next turn I'm dropping the Vizier, so oh. after that we'll be swinging for three. Right? Yeah, assuming he doesn't drop anything. He's got to start dropping things. I mean, he has five land. I can't imagine what he has in hand when he has six cards that he can't pay for. Yeah. The only thing I can figure is double red. I think he's off of color. Is this Krumar Bond King? Why wouldn't you have dropped that as a morph? Okay, I'm gonna drop the Vizier here. Okay. And then pr pretty much just sit back. he swings in, do you think we trade? No, because we can sing a bell strike it next turn. Yeah. And I don't want... I, the more creatures we have on the field, the more we can swing in for. It's true. So 
so I don't even trade the... No, because I want him around for regenerating later. <coughs> I mean, I might not singing bell strike it next time turn and just ethereal ambush. Oh, fair enough. Or Avon Surveyor. Yep. Yeah, I think I'll Avon Surveyor. Bounce it. Sure. Make him waste his mana. Yeah. Sure, that sounds good. Is he going to do anything else? I didn't know. Apparently so. I am recording, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. You got suddenly paranoid because it wasn't up on screen. Oh, fair enough. Ooh. Sure. Sure. Just killing our thing, putting a plus one, plus one counter on the thing that we're going to bounce? <laughs> Seems fine. It does seem fine. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. You're having shoes. Hey, Draft Cat. Welcome back. Suspension Field? What's that going on? Probably our Rakshasa Vizier. That's rude. Yeah. So. This is becoming very frustrating. Do we have anything to deal with enchantments? No, you said you didn't want the naturalized. I think for the we've got something that returns target permanent to its owner's hand. Okay, we'll look for that. Well, we could singing bell strike right into being. Let's do that. That makes a lot more sense because we're getting another creature on the field. Yeah. Although he still can pay six every turn if he's got nothing else to do with his mana. So maybe we ethereal ambush this turn and yeah. get two creatures down. Although maybe we can write in two no. Yeah, we'll we'll ethereal ambush this turn. Oh, I thought you were surveying and p p pitching that to his so that it loses its counter. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Salem says Good play. Blue, blue, green, green, black. You stole my chair, you cheeky cat. Next turn, maybe I can Ethereal Ambush and Singing Bell Strike if I draw another land. That would be delightful. Then we can write into being our top deck on the next turn. And, maybe uh, start getting some stuff? Yeah. That's why I don't mind if he's playing slow, because he's wasting his clock. He certainly is. Although he's not that far behind for being uh, slow. Right of undoing. Delve. Return target non-land permanent you control and target non-land permanent you don't control to their owner's hands. It just, so... There's not a lot of point. That. There's not a lot of point. No. So I think... Well, we could... I'd rather two. 
I'd rather just singing bells five. strike it. We could write into being this turn and then leave up right of undoing for when he attacks. And what are we going to pitch? Back to our hand or her Avon Surveyor for value. Uh, sure. Unless we manifest something that we don't want manifested. Sure. This is way too twiddly dirtily for me. And did I mention Hanky? Alright, what's on top? <clears throat> Ooh, let's manifest that. Sure. And let's put that on the top or bottom? Bottom, I think. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, for right of undoing. Do we actually get to swing with something this we turn? We do. We get to swing for two. Sweet. I'm so excited. I know. <laughs> it's like the best feeling ever. That stupid siege is a monster, I say. A monster. I was hoping we'd get it and get to play with it. He's going to combat, so we are going to... Say bye-bye to your little friend. Bye-bye, little friend. You control. You don't control. One, two, three, blue, four. Oh, the value. <laughs> we could have bounced his stupid siege back to his hand, but... Um, to what end? Yeah. He's just going to play it out again. Yeah. If we had a counter spell, I'd say yes. Yeah. But we don't, so... We have one in the board, I think, don't we? No, we didn't even take it. Yeah, whatever. There's no saying he's going to get it next turn. If there is, or next game, if there is a next game, this is a very long game. Okay, what's the next, uh, what are we doing next turn? Two, three, four, five, six. Probably Ethereal Ambush. Um. Swing for... We could four, unmorph or? this. And draw a card off it. What's he reaching? Our... Our surveyor. Our okay. Our Fair enough. Goodbye, value. Goodbye, value. Hold on. Hexproof. Oh, that's only spells. Oh, um, spells and abilities, right? Tap target creature. Ha <laughs> ha! Super. I think I want to um, swing in with this once for a card draw first. Although, what are we pitching? Singing bell strike? Yeah, fine. I'll play this out. Okay. Are we going to swing first? Yep. Super. Like, we could swing in the air for three here. Eh. And get a card, a loot out of it. No, I'd rather get the four, the four. The four two down? Yeah. And then we can sing you Bell Strike, the stupid Krumar that he's going to draw. Yep. Yeah. Again for four. Ha ha. Although, he's got all the land, so he can still untap his stuff. He does. He can untap. never been so happy to see Hexproof in my whole life. It's not as bad as it was originally um, reported to be. Yeah. Yeah. Evaluated. Like, it's still a four power Hexproof thing. Yeah. Often it's a five power Hexproof thing.
right of the serpent. Well, he's killing your morph. Sure. Go ahead. Whatever, man. That just means you can't even block this turn. Are we actually getting into four this turn? R. Hot diggity. Five, because I'm going to do this during combat. Hot diggity. Or... No, I still think two creatures Two creatures trumps one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Declare attackers. Cast an instant. I love instants. Trigger, trigger. Two creatures are forest and swamp. Welcome to our decks. I'm <laughs> happy to see you both. Yep. I'm actually really happy to that have two the, two twos instead of. That could be the best. Top decking land land. Uh, manifesting we've done. So good. Talk about your value. Yeah, because we can put this down for morph cost next turn. And then do morph it up to, the turn after. Yeah, we have ta- we have enough to. Oh yeah, Six. we can yeah. we can morph it down and singing bell strike whatever this is that he's putting down. Yep. Hopefully it's not. Removed. Hopefully it's the the Krumar again. Yep. And he's not gonna have enough mana to. Hello, Bondkin. Hello, Bondkin. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're gonna get him down to one. Oh no. Does, uh, will the bell strike trigger the... Pr- no, sorcery, instant or sorcery. Dang it! No, a non-creature spell. It totally oh. will. Oh, then we should have him. Um, so... Bell strike that. Blue-green. Trigger, trigger. He just untaps it next turn, but that's fine. If we should have him dead here, right? Uh, yes, we should. Two for nine. Attack with all. That should be lethal, unless he's Six. got something in hand. Like a um. Is it? Uh, yep, he's got something. Honor's reward. What is that? Gain four life, bolster two. Okay. We've got him dead next turn, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully. Oh, and I f 6 I forgot to... Um, oh, no. I'm mis- making misplays all over the place. Focus. August. Game's not open. August. Over. People have come back from this on us many times. <clears throat> That's true. I know how easy it is to come back from four. Yep. All right. Because we don't have him dead this turn. No, but we do drop two creatures. Well, two, four, yeah. Because he'll block one, and he will tap one, so... Okay. Fair enough, but I am dropping two creatures. Sure. <clears throat> What's he doing now? He's untapping. Oh, derp. You gonna get rid of the swamp or the forest? Huh? Huh? Hard choice, hard choice. Well, you have to. Let him? 
Yeah. Has priority. Is it? It is a 5 7. That is. No, not cast. Fairly scary. It's a 7 5. Uh, 7 5, right. Yeah, we're only at 16, so. We can take that once. We need to get him dead. Oh, I'm just gonna jump with the, um. with that. Sure. On the upside, he only has two cards in hand. <coughs> And we've got a flying 4-4 four, four in hand. True. Should we have just played that? Because that does just kill him. He would have tapped it down. We could have gotten in for 2 with the 1. Eh, yeah. I think it's lethal either way. We'll find out. Depends what he has in hand, really. Yeah. Never estimate the power of a good top deck. Mm. Manifest. He's manifesting the top card of his library. Somebody, some people can be real luck sex sometimes. Garrett, we're looking at you. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Five planeswalkers and eight drafts. I'm happy for him, but give us some of that luck. It's his beard. That's yeah. what it is. He's got a lucky it's beard. It's a shiny, shiny beard. Uh oh. Oh, okay. What's he doing? He's killing a morph. Harsh sustenance, killing our. Um, Glacial Stalker. Sure. <clears throat> Dead drop, eh? As I said, don't get cocky because a lot can happen. I will sack that. And I will sack that. Are you sacking our flyer? Yep. Why? Because we have another flyer coming to us. But he can't block flyers and he they're good tap targets. Um, this has hexproof. This has uh, is a 6-7. I get that. Oh. Why did he not attack? Oh, to block with. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Like, we can't swing. We can swing. We can swing with the uh, Willow Locks It On. If we morph it up. Yeah. Alright, swing with it because maybe he blocks it with his. Um, with the. The big guy. Yeah, okay. Oh, Good he's call. tapping it down. Right, that's <clears> the problem. <throat> we can't swing with our hexproof guy. Alright, fair enough. Still ahead on the clock? Barely. Okay, we need to buckle down and play faster. Yep. Unfortunately, the problem right now is that he will have all the gas because he's not been playing much. And this is where it gets harder for us. That's good for us. It is good for us. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't unmorph and play it. So there's no point in playing out this forest. So. You're just gonna swing and unmorph? I'm just gonna swing and unmorph. Are you just gonna swing with the morph creature? No. I'm gonna swing with both. Because he has to block both. I know. But I'm kind of hoping that we can lure him into blocking the big guy with the morph. Which I don't see him doing. 
Well, maybe. <clears throat> but I was really hope I was thinking if we just swung with the morph, he's gonna probably block with the Krumar. And right now we may lose our hex proof and our thing and he loses just his morph. He would lose both. We would trade off everything. Oh, fair enough, yeah. Like, that's what I was afraid of happening, because he doesn't lose his creature, but we do. We've just wiped our board. Oh, no, we haven't. We still have that, but that's it. If we don't no, so I unmorph this instead. Can he pump? That's the only thing I didn't think about. Because, oh, never mind. Because what? Oven. It's good. Yep. Apparently so. Trumpet blast. Darn. Marder deck. Yep. All right. Some sloppy play there costs us the game. Um. And being mocked by our opponent. Also fun. I don't think that's mocking. I think that's just... He thinks it's funny. And it is funny. Okay. Creature draw a card? No. Draw three and discard one? No, I think we're still fine. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should be running this foil swamp for value. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to run it back. Play fast, because okay. we don't have time for a third game. <clears throat> Well, our opponent from the first round got the bye, because apparently my pretty girlfriend dropped. Oh well. Is he doing some sideboarding? Must be doing some sideboarding. Alright, would we like to play first? Yes. Uh, and I will keep that. <clears throat> and I will try to play fast. Probably just gonna outlast here. Oh no. He's playing a battle brawler. Three, two with first strike. Alright, well. Things aren't going so well, huh? Um they're not going terribly. I might just trade with this, if he attacks in with it.
or he's just going to kill it. Okay. Well, this isn't the slow dirtle knot that I saw last game. He probably um, sideboarded in stuff. I think I bell strike it. Sure. And unless you want to murderous cut it, we could murderous cut it. That's probably better. I, I would think I would rather say murderous cut for something scarier. All right, fair enough. And maybe get a prowess trigger off of it. Well, we could just as well get a uh, prowess True. trigger off of seeing the bell strike. But he's nowhere near six slant mana yet, so. True. We've stopped him from swinging it at all. Is that going to make a 1 1 flyer? Or get a 1 1 counter? One one four. <coughs> Goodness, excuse me. Um, do you want to drop this bouncing the flyer just yeah, to kill it? Sure. I think that's probably a good. That sounds really good. I mean, or it could be a three three flyer. Nah, let's just. Ooh, or we could write it being. Three three flyer blocks and kills that, so maybe a three three flyer is better. You know what? Yeah, let's get that. Then we can write into being next turn and maybe murderous cut as well. choice. Or, so we take one, two, three, three. Fair enough. Erg. cast both of those to power out Gurmag Angler next turn. Sure. So maybe I write into being first, see what it is that I'm going to be um, Maybe pitching. we can control a little more the pitch. Yeah. I think I want to manifest that. Mm -hmm. Put the island back on top. Yeah. Because I don't mind pitching an island. Now here's my question. Yeah. Do we morph him up next turn if we can, and then delve out the guy um, to get the? I think so because that would be our whole turn. But it turns it from a two-two into a four-four. We just um, pitched a wind scout in the bin, which eh, that's mm -hmm. fine. I'm fine trading this with this. Um, I think. Hmm. 
green. This banana is not quite ripe yet. I like them mildly green. They make my tummy upset. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Mm. I'm gonna have Block are there. You, are you training? Yep. Gets this in the bag. Gets rid of his outcast. We take one instead of three. This outlasting. And puts down a morph. Sure. Ideally, we top deck a swamp so that we can. Um, flip this up and uh, I don't suppose we have enough to drop that and morph. No, we have enough to unmorph, which I think is the play. Because then we can delve all this out and dr drop this face up. Okay. Sure. Um, we can unmorph on his turn though, so F6 to it if we don't block, but we might trade, we might kill it. I don't want to I don't want to trade don't because want to trade? we're wasted a whole turn for our next. Yeah. Seems kind of silly. doesn't have mana down for Trumpet Glass, so... That's true. I'm not concerned about that as of yet. He's delving... Salt Eye Scavenger. Alright, I'm going to unmorph this now. Sure. Exile something. One, two, six. So we could cast that, cast that, and cast Angler. So we cast the Dragon Eye Savants, delve out the Angler, um, leave up Reality Shift, swing in for a bundle. Sure. So we're dropping the wall as well? Yep. Oh, and we're leaving up reality shift. Nice. So that we can... Oh! We can totally drop his flyer out of the air yep. and block it. Exactly. Or kill it, actually. With our angler. That's gross. I kind of like that trick. Well, it'll be gone, and whatever he manifests will not be um, attacking, so... Oh, even, fair enough. Even better. Fair enough, right. We can block something else with the... 
Angler. Suspension no. fields. That's frustrating. What's he taking? Uh, well, he's taking the Vizier, I'm sure. Yep. This is a frustrating deck to be playing against. Especially when we're somehow behind on the clock because it keeps not registering my commands. Well, that we have to stop and make decisions. Yes. <laughs> oh boy, are we in trouble. I mean, do I murderous cut that? I think we might. It stops everything on the field. I mean, mm. what else do we do? So do I swing in then? That seems bad. I think we just kill it and pass the turn. I don't think we're winning this, to be honest. Alright, I'm just going to pass the turn then. The only way we can win this is if we just keep pass, pass, passing the turn and just try to stay alive. He's a whole minute ahead somehow. Yeah, because we have to keep stopping and making decisions. It's my computer being laggy, is what that, it is. That too. I still think we kill the rats. Block there. Yeah, it is being really laggy, isn't it? I decided to kill the thing he unmorphed to keep our angler instead, because he's just swung with the typhoid rats. Fair enough. Not at this point that it really matters a lot. Uh, I think I'm just going to play that out. Sure. Pass the turn. I forgot he had a 3 7. Yeah. Drop me, bro. Rush of battle. Yeah. That's pretty much game.
So one thing about the online thing with the time clock, it's um, kind of frustrating. A little bit. With a very slim chance here if he forgets to untap. I don't know, because we don't have a flyer. No. Yep. We're also at... Uh, yeah. Good game. Well, that was a frustrating round two, but uh, we've still got a chance, so we will see you in round three.